Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering Exam. Today we are going to see the problem related with soil mechanics in the topic of consolidation uh, settlement. So the problem is a stratum of clay with an average liquid limit that is WL as 45 percentage is 6 meter thickness. Okay, So the H is 6 meter thickness. Its surface is located at the depth of 8 meter below the ground surface. Okay, So now the H1 is uh, 6 meter. So, so, the clay layer has the 6 meter uh, thickness and it will be 8 meter below the ground surface. So, above the clay layer there will be a layer. Okay. So, then natural water content of the clay is 40 percentage. So, water content is 40 percentage then specific gravity is 2.7. So, between the ground surface and uh, the clay layer subsoil consists of fine sand. Okay. So, there is two layers. So, first layer is sand then second layer is clay. Okay, so, the sa fine sand layer is 8 meter thickness. So, then water is located at the depth of 4 meter below the ground surface. So, water is uh, below the water level is uh, 4 meter below the ground surface. So, then average submerged unit weight of sand is 10.5 kN per meter cube. So, then unit weight of uh, sand above the water table is 17 kN per meter square. Okay, so, this is gamma D of sand. So, this is gamma submerged of sand. Okay, so, then the weight of building that will be constructed on the sand above the clay increases the overburden pressure of the clay by 40 kN per meter square. So, the, the overburden pressure is 40 kN per meter square estimate the settlement of the building. Okay, so, now we can dry, uh, draw the diagram. So, there is a two layer over there. So, the first layer consist of 8 meter so this is fine sand okay so another 6 meter thickness clay layer is there so the water table is 4 meter below the ground surface so this is uh, 4 meter below the ground surface okay so now the above the water table the unit weight gamma is uh, 17 kilo ton per meter cube so then below the uh, water table so gamma saturation is 10.5 kilo ton per meter cube okay so then the for the clay layer the there is a, a given data so the wl liquid limit is uh, 45 percentage so then water content w is 40 percentage then specific gravity g equal to 2.7 okay so these are all the given values so from that we have to find out the settlement that is consolidation settlement okay so now the solution so the formula for consolidation settlement so that is sc equal to the formula is c into cc divided by 1 plus e naught into h into log 10 sigma dash plus del sigma divided by sigma dash okay so for so for that we have to find out c is uh, equal to 1 so the cc we have to find out then e naught uh, then uh, del sigma is given the sigma naught we have to find out okay so now uh, we can take uh, cc so cc uh, we know the formula is 0.009 into w l minus 10 ok so now uh, solving this uh, we can substitute the w l as uh, 40 percentage so now 0 0.009 into 40 minus 10 ok solving this we got the value of 0 0.315 ok so next thing is uh, e naught so e naught equal to w into g ok so now uh, w value is 0 0.4 into g value is 2.7 so solving this we got the value of 1.08 so now uh, we know c c c then e naught ok so next thing is del sigma is given that is 40 kilo ton per meter square ok next thing is we have to find out the sigma dash so sigma dash equal to at the middle of the layer so for the clay layer we have to find out so now uh, here is 17 into 4 okay so the thickness is 4 meter and uh, the unit weight is uh, 17 okay next thing is plus 10.5 into 4 okay so that 10.5 uh, is unit weight and uh, this is a 4 meter depth okay so now uh, we can take the sigma dash here because 
the in the question the weight of the building that will be constructed on the sand above the clay so above the clay only uh, they are asking so we don't want to uh, consider the middle of the layer so now we can consider this layer as a settlement layer so now uh, sigma dash equal to 110 kilo newton per meter square okay so now we know all the details so now we can uh, substitute all the values in the formula so now sc equal to c is uh, 1 into cc values 0.315 divided by 1 plus e not values 1.08 into h so the h is uh, the the uh, complete layer so we can take the 6 meter so now 6 as a height into log 10 into 110 so there is sigma dash is 110 plus 40 divided by 110 okay so solving this we got the value of 0.1224 meter so that is 12.24 cm so this is a final settlement okay so this is a method we can solve the problem again we'll see next video thank you